the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone and welcome back to our Gmail training. In this lesson, we're gonna cover setting up your signatures, yes, that's plural, and your vacation responder. We've been working our way through the settings, so let's start where we left off by clicking on the settings gear in the top right corner, select see all settings, and then scroll down to the bottom. Here we are at our signatures. So first, click create new. Give your signature a name. You can have more than one, so maybe you might want to have a general one, maybe something different when you are replying. Maybe you need something different for clients or those that are external to the company if you're using Gmail for work. Whatever it may be, pick a couple signatures to add in here. Great, now pick a signature and type in the information to the right. Of course, you're going to include your name, but you can include other things such as your title, contact information, links to websites, whatever it may be. You do have all of the regular formatting buttons that you see when composing an email. In this case, I'm going to make my name stand out from the rest of the text. Now to the other signatures. I'm going to use all of this information, so I'm going to copy and paste it to my client or external signature. Maybe in this case, I want email recipients to see a link to book an appointment with me, so I'm going to hyperlink that in my signature. And I definitely want to stay on brand by adding the company logo. So I'll click on the image button and upload that. And of course I may have to resize it. Repeat these steps to fill in any other signatures that would fit your needs. In my case, that would be the reply signature. Okay, next is the defaults. Set the signature you want to be the default for your new emails and which signature you would like for your replies. Another thing to set here is inserting the signature above quoted text, meaning the signature is included just after your typed message, not at the bottom of a long chain of emails. If you know, you know, or you'll know the next time you see it. All right, now scroll to the bottom and click save. Let's go respond to an email and you can see the default signature that was applied. You can also click on the pin to change the signature for any email that you write, which can be very helpful. Now, selecting manage signatures will take you back into the settings, so let's do that. And now we're going to look at vacation responder. It's the last thing on our list of general settings. So you're gonna be out of office. Maybe it's vacation, sickness, or any reason at all. If you're away, it's best practice to set your away message. First, set the start date. You don't have to pick an end date, and I will show you why in just a second. Next, you can set your subject. Just be careful to keep it short because the title that you put here and the title of the original email will be combined, so it could become very long. Make sure to type in your message. Now you do have an option to send this automated email to your contacts only. So you can select that here and then click Save. When the vacation responder is on, a yellow bar appears across the top. Now you can see the end now button. That's why you don't have to set an end date because you can simply click it when you do return. Again, the alternative is to set an end date, meaning at midnight on the date, the vacation responder will automatically turn off so you don't have to remember. All right, great. That was signatures and vacation responder. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.